Welcome to Mandalay Bay Convention Center and a trade show called Licensing Expo 2015. This is a show for folks who have characters or brands they want to license to others, for the folks who do the licensing, and for folks who are interested in acquiring the licenses. There are 450 exhibitors here with some 5,000 brands. The owner of this show is UBM Advanced Star. The sponsor is International Licensing Industry Merchandisers Association. This should be fun. In case I don't find a DreamWorks booth, I love what they have written on this uh, print your badge booth. DreamWorks, we celebrate the imperfect princess and the unlikely hero. Global Trademark Licensing is a company that will help you get licenses and I'm looking here at some of the logos. They represent BMW, Bentley, Maserati, Jaguar, high end for sure. Lisa Marks and Associates is associated with a lot of brands here and they are a company that will help grow the brand. For example, sometimes some of the characters that are in cards and that's why they have this, these greeting cards here. And the folks who use the um, characters will pay a little bit to do that. And they'll put characters on pillows, etc. Lisa Marks Associates Inc. is based in New York. I stopped to talk to Jason Feather because I see a live mural and I'm wondering about his business. First of all, I mispronounced it. It's creation, yeah, right? And, and tell us about it. There are uh, two of you, right? Yeah, it's uh, I go by Jay Feather and Monty Montgomery. Uh, both completely different artists. We're both based out of San Diego. Um, and then together, come together and create kind of different worlds, different combinations uh, between imagery, um, pattern work, uh, fine art, full combination of multimedia in a sense. And you said you have been at other conventions. They've been hiring you at other conventions, right? Yeah, we do. Um, uh, we've done uh, magic. Uh, yeah. Different conventions that a few times. We do licensing every year. Uh, we've done other shows in San Francisco, LA. Kind of going to get around a lot. It's nice for us because we're in San Diego. It's just an easy drive. We need drive over materials. And so you can actually make a living being an artist? It is possible. You know, <laughs> I'm not necessarily eating steaks every day, but I mean, I am eating a little bit here and there. Yeah. Uh, well, I love your mural back here. At one of the other booths, I was told to come look at Deborah Valencia's booth, and here it is. And these are all her designs. And obviously, folks are interested. So why is there a Heineken poster here and Tang? I stopped to see what in the heck was going on with Fabulous Drizzle Studios. And a gentleman here explained that artist Robert Holton will take logos and make them into special art. And the, he was showing me this Coca-Cola um, panel, and it was extremely difficult to do, involved many layers, hand painting, etc. So if you'd like a piece of art that looks somewhat familiar but actually has the artist's touch, you may contact Drizzle Studios there in what, San Diego? Laguna Beach. Laguna Beach, California. Drizzle Studios. This is Jim Edwards and he was telling me about this product, Session Savers Sunscreen, and I stopped because the packaging looked different. And what this is, he tells me, is what? Ten of these? Ten to a pack. In here. There's a ball and chain here that you put around whatever's handy, your purse, your uh, golf bag, uh, your you just hang, stroller. you just hang it, you right? Just hang it, and in the event that you you have forgotten it or you need it, take it out of this. It's one application. It allow, allows you to put it on your arms and your face, and then discard and take the next uh, take the next sachet. Okay, well, I'd only need one set because I can't stay in the sun that long. But um, 
anyway, uh, so someone could come along if they like this product and they say, I want to put my logo on your and product. And we could do something And like here this. we go. Okay, something like this. NASCAR or the New York Yankees. Okay. These are both mock-ups. Mock-ups. Or the, the Chargers. Okay. Or the Western Hotel. They haven't signed on yet, but you hope they will. Absolutely. Right. Okay, well, Jim, thank you very much, and good luck with this. <laughs> and there is a website. Wait a minute, we might as well give you some. Anybody's interested in this, it's www.sessionssaverssunscreen.com or www.sessionssavers.com. Correct. So, if you'd like some handy sunscreen without carrying around a big bottle, this is the answer. Meredith Publishing is a company I know because it is located in Des Moines, Iowa. And I went to school in Ames, Iowa, which is, what, 30, 50 miles away. Anyway, they publish a lot of magazines, and I'm thinking, what are they doing here? And the young lady I talked with, who was also a graduate of Iowa State University, explained to me that there are a number of products these days that have the Better Homes and Garden brand. You can actually go to Walmart and buy towels with the Better Homes and Garden brand. And you can buy flowers that are inspired by the designs in Better Homes and Gardens and are called Better Homes and Garden flower bouquet, something like that. Anyway, I had no idea that the brand had gone this far, and it was fun talking to the young lady. We were at Iowa State at different times, but we both loved the school. The folks at Brother are here, not because they're licensing the Brother name, but because they're showing off equipment that others may use to print t-shirts and other items. Here's one that was, just came off the printer. Well, beautiful. My goodness, wouldn't the world's youngsters love to have a wall hanging with these characters in their bedroom if they have a tall wall. This is the King Features booth and they will be happy to license their characters for your products. I have a friend who loves Betty Boop, and Betty Boop appears on everything, towels, cookie jars, t-shirts, etc. King Features must love the idea of branding. One more company eager to license their characters is the Cartoon Network, and they have one huge screen as part of their exhibit. And I don't know whether you can see, but there are quite a few people here. I'm not the only one who's looking for a comfortable chair or a place to rest my feet. There are lots of benches at this show, and that's a very good thing. I had to ask a lot of questions about this. Jim and the Holograms was in the 80s a popular cartoon. A live movie is coming out soon, and in the meantime... Give me, give me your attention. Let me take it to another dimension. Oh, 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 oh. Live entertainment. I give me, give me, give me your affection. And we can take this in a new direction. Oh, 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 oh. How big is the branding business? Amazon is here because they have original cartoons, it looks like, for children, and they're happy to bring in those drawings as well. More cartoon characters. And we have Transformers, robots in disguise, and PBS is here as well. Well, I'm not sure about this. Once upon a zombie, a zombie Snow White. And of course, we have characters from Peanuts, but there is apparently a Peanuts movie coming out in November. Look at that happy face.
Post as a brand is still alive and well through Curtis Licensing. Funny who you can meet at a trade show. It's the way to upholster a chair in a child's room. This is the Care Bears exhibit. This is interesting. The exhibit Universal and it's talking about the secret life of pets a movie and you can get a pet tag engraving set for free and there's quite a lineup another ice age movie is coming out it's called ice age collision course in theaters july 2000 15 and there's a fox coming over a huge ice cube. I'm not quite sure why BBC Worldwide is here. Ah, uh, well, they have brands too. Top Gear and it looks like Doctor Who and Sherlock, a program. And I love BBC. I hear it in Las Vegas on KNPR about a large exhibit. This is Warner Brothers. Films, tables, people, and Warner Brothers consumer products. I heard through the grapevine that this is the Batmobile for the new Batman Excuse movie, me. Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. Nickelodeon says, Hello, you can be a secret agent, Barbie. I haven't seen Sesame Street in a while. I don't know whether they still have a cookie monster, what with all the health advocates around. But we all love Sesame Street, don't we? Coming from Netflix this fall, Masha and the Bear. These adorable drawings are from China, and they are Lucky Boy and Lucky Girl. And there is a movie, I think I understood her correctly, to say there will be a movie coming out next year, and it may also be seen in America. They even have a road in the trade show here with don't pass lines. Remember Ty and Beanie Babies? They all have names, and they are all here to say hello. YouTube is here and I think it's because they are starting to produce their own content. I'm not sure, but I think that's the case. There's even a separate Thomas Kincaid exhibit. We see his pictures everywhere. So many bits of clothing involve sports, but there are only a couple of Boots here that address that. This is the Major League Baseball Players Association. And here is NFL Players Incorporated. The Major League Players Association, I'm told, represents all Major League players when it comes to licensing for hats, shirts, bobbleheads, etc. Individual players, of course, can go make appearances and earn their own money. Anyway, I'm told that there are some 100 licensees by the Players Association at all price levels. I don't have a lot of time to talk to the NFL folks, but I assume they are doing somewhat the same thing because there is just one exhibit here and it is NFL Players Incorporated. I gather there are several booths here that talk about football clubs and this would all be European clubs hoping to license their brand as well. Well, Pan Am brands are still around. Who would have thought? And don't we love the outfits the girls are wearing? I really do love them. 
the American Cancer Society has a booth empty at the moment. And they are saying, standing side by side with the American Cancer Society puts your brand in a positive light. Help us save lives and brighten your bottom line. And they have logos of NFL, uh, Walgreens, Chevrolet, Delta, 1-800-Flowers, etc. I saw the Popsicle brand and wondered why in the world would they be here and what do you know? A Popsicle t-shirt. I wish I could wear Rebel Girl items and believe in them for me, but that's another kind of person. At any rate, um, I really enjoy being at this show. Lots to see. I had no idea so many folks wanted their brand moving around the country and uh, loved it, loved the whole thing. So now it's time to leave, go home, and take my nap. <laughs>